City News everywhere. Yesterday was a situation where we were forced to act. Winnipeg police have charged five more people after an encampment was cleared off the legislative grounds Tuesday afternoon. This comes after seven people were charged during the removal, making it a total of 12 people to be arrested and charged in the encampment's removal. Our priority is always focusing on public safety. That's our number one priority when dealing with protests and deciding when and where to act and why. On Wednesday, members of the WPS responded to their decision to tear down the encampment. Police say the decision was made by both the city and province due to escalating threats and aggressive behavior coming from the occupants. The action over the last two days is a specific result of escalating safety concerns from the site that we received from multiple sources. These include the public, these include government sources, and these include our members' own interactions with the site. Police say they seized several weapons from the camp, including three axes, a machete, a hammer, a spear, body armor, and a three-foot club. Officers began removing the camp Tuesday afternoon after occupants of the camp were allegedly trying to expand the encampment on Monday. Dozens of police officers surrounded the site and put up a fence around the former camp. We're not neutral. When safety becomes a factor, we are obligated and must respond, and we did respond yesterday. I don't believe that they have the right to come and take this camp down. The removal of the encampment occurred on the north side of the legislative grounds. There is still an active camp on the east side known as the Healing Village that is unrelated to the newly disassembled camp. Alan Holy Flying Hawk, his spirit name, is a member of the Healing Village. He said it's important for them to remain on the legislative grounds and fight for those who didn't make it home. We all got to stand together on behalf of the children, not just the native people. We need people of all races to come here and to stand here together as one voice. No, I don't think that they have the right to come in here and take the home down of the people that built this camp. The provincial government passed a law in the spring prohibiting encampments on the legislative grounds, including banning people from using generators and firewood. There's no problem protesting down at the legislature. That You've heard from the provincial government that is a place for protest, that it will continue to be a place for protest. Um, however, uh, there is now a law in place in this land that prohibits new structures being built, and that will be enforced. Police say a majority of the 12 people have been released, some with conditions, and some are still going through the release process. None of the charges have been proven in court at this time. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.